Hello, this is Alan Babbitt reporting for the Holland Sentinel. The Hope College men's and women's soccer teams are getting a new home. Just a soccer ball kick away from their old home off Fairbanks Avenue and 11th Street in Holland. The Van Andel Soccer Stadium is expected to be finished with construction in October and ready for the teams to play late in the season. The stadium is named for David and Carol Van Andel who donated $3 million toward the $5.3 million project. Here are some thoughts from uh, the participants of Friday's groundbreaking ceremony at Hope College. Will you please do the honors? Just pull. Today I stand before you wearing many hats. I'm a proud son and an even more proud father. Encouraged that our family has a tradition of building things up and not tearing them down and that the tradition is being carried forward into another generation. I'm also hopeful as a board member, a finance committee member, and an alumnus of Hope College. I realize the incredible potential that this new stadium brings. The Van Andel Soccer Stadium will be among the finest in the country, make no doubt, and one of a handful of capital initiatives used to, as a tool to recruit the best and the brightest to this fine institution, Hope College. First-rate facilities along with stellar academics are necessary to attract the most capable students and the faculty that teaches them. Add to that a historic Christian perspective, and I believe that you have a recipe for success. A success that Hope College brings to all its students, not just to the soccer playing ones. With this new stadium, we're also poised to draw a larger sporting events to West Michigan, giving the local economy a much needed and appreciated boost during these very difficult times. The stadium and its promise of new revenue will do much to enhance our economic development efforts and ultimately our overall quality of life. It will lift the image of the region and the college just as the field house adjacent here, the science center, the communication center and other facilities have done in the past. Because ultimately when we populate these facilities, that's when we see their true potential. Coach needs you. Okay, one, two, three. There you go. <laughs> the Van Andel Soccer Stadium and its various amenities will no doubt be an impressive addition to Hope's campus. But what I look forward to is most is how it will involve and engage the broader community and become a hub of activity for students young and old. Future generations of families, soccer enthusiasts will congregate here and it will even attract more youth in collegiate sports to this region. Okay. On the count of three again, Dutch. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Action to the plans. I mean, I'm I'm just really excited. All the players are really excited. Uh, it's going to be, like they said, the, the nicest place, the nicest stadium in in the nation for D3. So it'll be really big for the season, um, especially since we're we're going to Ireland in oh. late July. So that, in addition to this, should make next season a huge success. Well, awesome! It's just to call a place home and like to actually own it gives us so much more pride um, to have people like come and stay I mean we did have the DeVos but it's just it's gonna give us I feel like a whole lot more confidence than we already have in playing and just um, as far as like bringing our recruits here and having them stay which would be great I think awesome I mean we're going from you know, limited seating to a fantastic facility. And, I mean, for the guys, I know we're really excited just to get on a fantastic field. I mean, we got great facilities right now, but this field gets torn up like come October, November. Just that, like, you know, that consistency. And 
not only that, but like recruiting too. Yeah. I mean, it's going to bring a lot of fantastic players here for Coach Smith and Coach Sears. So just the overall aspect, like it's going to affect so many different dynamics for our community as well as our program. This is Alan Babbitt reporting for the Holland Sentinel.